11.3 corresponding parts of similar figures, geometry. The essential question, if you know two figures are similar, what can you determine about the measures of corresponding angles and lengths? The answer, similar figures have corresponding angles that are congruent and have corresponding sides that are proportional. Just like yesterday, that's why nobody's walking around with a size 36 shoe, okay? Because that's not proportional. So here we are looking at a figure, and it's a rectangle. And you go through a transformation, okay? Whatever it is. And you get a smaller rectangle, okay? The rectangle on the left is A, B, C, D, and the rectangle on the right is E, F, uh, H, G. Um, if you notice the lengths that are given to you, the dimensions, A, D is 2, A, B is 4, um, and the one on the right, E, G, is 1, and E, F is 2. So if we look here at um, what I just came up, um, A, B, okay, A, B was 4, okay? And then E, F, which is basically the same side after the transformation of that object, right? is now 2, okay? So as you can see right here, AB is 4, EF it was 2. And if you put AB over EF, remember proportionality goes off of ratios, and ratio is just a fancy way of saying a fraction, okay? 4 divided by 2, that's 2, okay? So it looks like it uh, is shrunk, right? Now, if you look at the proportionality between AD and EF, you're going to notice that AD is 2, and EG, I'm sorry, EG, is 1, and 2 divided by 1 is also 2. So notice how they have the same proportionality, and that's what we're talking about. Propro uh, properties of similar figures. Um, first things first, corresponding angles. Oops, sorry. Corresponding angles are similar. Uh, let's see, corresponding angles of similar figures are congruent. That means if one angle is uh, 30 degrees, the other the other figure is going to have the same angle of 30 degrees for that certain corner. Now this one, corresponding sides of similar figures are proportional, just like the uh, essential question example. Um, those two sides are proportional to one another, just like the other two sides. Okay, so we have this figure. We have uh, triangle ABC. And it is told to us that these two figures, these two triangles, okay, are similar. That's what that means, all right? That little squirry symbol right here, that means similar, okay? So if they're similar, then A, angle A, right here, okay, angle A is congruent to angle X. So if angle A is 30 degrees, X is 30 degrees, okay? Um, and then angle B is going to be congruent to angle Y. So if angle B is 20 degrees and Y is 20, uh, Y is going to be 20 degrees. Okay, that's what we mean. Same thing with the other angle. So all three angles will be congruent to each other because we are told that both triangles are similar. And thus goes with our proportionality uh, with the sides. So side AB, okay is going to be the same as side XY. And then BC is going to be congruent to YZ. And then lastly, the third side, AC, the base, all about that base, about that base, no trouble, is going to be congruent to XZ. Okay, so the angles are congruent, the sides are proportional. Example one, you get this image, okay, um, it looks like it went through like a rotation and a dilation, but nonetheless, we're told that these guys are proportional to each other. So, if they are proportional, okay, that means the angles are the same, that also means that the sides are proportional. So, for finding the value of x, uh, we're told uh, that they're proportional, okay, or they're, I'm sorry, they're similar. Um, therefore, 
angle C, angle C is congruent to angle R. Okay? Therefore, we'll set them equal to each other. And we're going to solve for x using our algebra. Okay, looks like we used subtraction property, got rid of that 27, moved it to the right. Then we used the division property, divide by 4, and we got x equals 17. And that's because we knew that they were similar, therefore the angles are congruent. Now, finding for the value of y. Well, when we're looking at y, okay, oops, when you're looking at y, let's see, there's a y here and there's a, a y here. Um, you know that AB has to be proportional to this guy, okay? And you know that AD has to be proportional to PQ. So AB has to be proportional to PS and set it equal to the other sides that are also proportional, AD over PQ. So here you have 4Y over your 10 feet equaling your 3y minus 5 over your 5 feet. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to get y all by himself. So it looks like we use the multiplication property to get rid of that 10 down here. And then once you get that, you have this over here. Um, use algebra and you'll figure out that y equals 5. Okay, so that you're still using your algebra skills. Example two, use the diagram. So you have two triangles. Of course, they're stacked up on top of each other, but you're still being told that they are similar. Okay? They are similar. Both these triangles are similar. That means their angles are, the, are, are congruent and their sides are proportional. So when we're looking for the value of x, um, I'm already, let's see, x, there's an x here, and I don't see any other x's. Okay? So. If you look at what I'm doing right now, all right, I am saying that angle C, and angle C is right here, okay, equals angle ABE, this one right here that's also highlighted, okay? Why are they the same? Because they are congruent, because both triangles are similar. So set them equal to each other. 50 degrees equals 3x plus 14. Subtract the 14, you get a 36 on the left, and you have that lonely 3x right there. Get rid of that multiplying 3 by division property, and you'll get x equals 12, or 12 equals x. Um, that, it means the same thing. So x equals 12. What about y? We have to find y now. All right, y looks like he's ed, that small little side right there. So, um, as you can see, ad... Um, over AE. What does that mean? It means that AD, oops, sorry, it means that AD, this guy right here, okay, is going to be proportional to AE. This, the, he's the bigger version, okay, you can see him right there. So, if they're proportional, um, we're going to set them equal to some other sides that are also proportional. In this case, for reference, we'll use uh, CD, which is 5, and it has to be proportional to BE, okay? So, um, you're going to find AD um, to be whatever. Oh, that does not work well. Let's pick a nicer color that doesn't block out things. Um, we're going to figure out that AD is 5.6 plus Y, okay? And then that's proportional to AE, which is just 5.6. So we set it equal to the other two guiding sides, which have to be proportional. CD was 5. And then we divide it by EB because they're proportional. Use your algebra, and eventually you're going to get y, y equals 1.4, a decimal. Question for your exit slip today. Uh, if figure A, B, C, D is similar to figure M, N, K, L, write a proportion that contains B, C, and K, L. So you have a rectangle, for example, okay? Usually when they give you four points, it's either a square, a rectangle, or some other weird uh, foregone, okay? You're going to transform it, 
and you're gonna get M and LK. Transform, it's kind of ambiguous. Uh, you could be rotating, dilating, translating, um, reflecting. In this case, it looks like um, a dilation, right? So again, I'm looking for um, a fraction. So look back in your notes. I want something that contains a proportion with BC. Okay, side BC and KL. All right, so who's, who's going to be proportional to BC? Okay, look at the other sides. Anybody, I don't know, over here? Wink, wink. Okay, that's going to be proportional over, uh, or it's going to be under BC. So BC divided by some side equals, um, and what side is proportional to LK? Wink, wink. So you're going to write me a fraction equaling some fraction. There's no numbers involved, just the lengths, the, the names of them. BC over some, some letter, okay, equals another fraction. There's your homework, page uh, 606 through 608, numbers 1 through 11, 15 through 16, and 20. 20 is going to be a, a very similar problem to want something you're going to see on your homework, and, or not your homework, uh, your test. So um, definitely take care of this. Ask me if you have any questions, and good luck.